I love the or it's like the um the screaming goats. Yeah, those are weird too. I think alpacas scream too. Alpacas are just weird. <laughs> they are terrifying. Did I get all of them in here? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's clean. But I think later on I'll have you go in and do the watermelon level. I figured I'll have you do the, the the ones that a lot of people really hate. And if you do them, like, if you finish them, great. If you don't, whatever. Are you, like, punishing me? Are you Albert Fish? Yes, I am Albert Fish. No, I didn't need anyone. Yet. Oh, I was really hoping you were going to just keep going. I forgot, too, that as you clear out these levels, the, the sunlight comes back to them. Mm. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> I love me some Grouper Blooper. This is a cool level. Maybe it's because I had this at the same time that I had um, Science Adventure 2, but I, this for some reason reminds me of City Escape. That is weird. You want to know what this reminds me of? What? I remember one time when we were kids, I had you over and we were playing this. This exact level, and then you know what we did afterwards? What? We saw Daddy Daycare. I don't know why this. So this level always reminds me of Daddy Daycare. You know, I think I kind of vividly remember that too. Remember when they made a sequel? Then Big Camp. Yeah, I never saw that. It was pretty terrible. Cause they replaced. Uh... Okay, so it's got to be B. Cause it can't be A. <laughs> yeah, try on that one. You don't even press B to flip the gate. What button um, was it? You just, I just crawled up there. Yeah, but there's a way to... Like... Oh, you just... Okay, so you gotta crawl up to it, and then just press A, and you hang on. I think you have to hold the button. Nope. Oh. Look by no hands! There's a gate up there, right there. Try this again? See, no, there's a button you have to hold. No. See, because you keep dropping. I keep it in the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> just being a big dope. Is it B or A? Okay, when you're hanging, you gotta press A. Okay. Flood's being very, uh, very odd now. He's demanding. Maybe it is a one. <laughs> It's like American Ninja Warrior, but for dummies. <laughs> Most extreme elimination challenge. Oh god. That really was American Ninja Warrior for dummies. No, that was American Ninja Warrior for amazing people. Or Wipeout. Wait, no, Wipeout's... Which is the one where they have the, um... I think Wipeout was the all-water one. Yeah, that's the one where, like, yeah, you're standing over the water. I'm thinking about the one where you have to make the shape and put your body into the shape so it doesn't knock you over. They did that in MX M MXC. And they made a whole show out of it afterward. Did they really? Yeah. I oh, didn't know that. You were going the right way. Also, they remade BattleBots. Oh, yeah. Is that's that a, is that any good? Uh, it is awesome. Now you're just going the complete wrong way again. You were going the right way. What are you doing? <laughs> Bottom right corner. Where that? No. Go back. Where? The first place that you went. Like, go back and to the right. In here? Yeah. And now just drop down. See, there you go. Now you just wait for that guy to come back. I think this is one of the more, like, just straight up platform heavy levels in the game. Yeah. Because it's not usually like this, usually more open. I 
wonder what happens if you run out of water here. You can keep going. Huh? You just keep going. Do I have to use that to get across? Yep. Uh, now I believe you want to wait for that guy. I mean, you probably could platform up there. Oh my god. Got him. <laughs> you're like 50-50 with that stuff. Don't jump onto that immediately because it'll go right into the water. But you're pretty 50-50 with like jumping off of things that you shouldn't be, but then also recovering. <laughs> yeah. But then sometimes it's you just I, don't. It's, it's just like how I play regular... Oh god almighty. <laughs> Yeah, so you're gonna have to jump up there. No! Oh, I mean, yay! Alright. I've never done this! Now he's to your right. There's certain enemies that, for whatever reason, they just don't use a lot in the 3D Mario games. Like, bloopers are very rarely seen. You, like, never see Shy Guys. I love Shy Guys. And Koopas, too. They, you very rarely see Koopas. Yeah, well, I thought Koopas were kind of weird looking in, uh... Mario 64. 64. Yeah. I completely agree. They were just, like, so big. Yeah, they were too big. So Sakurai saw them and was just like, we can't have this anymore. That's why I was never in Smash, either. Big. I... I know. You don't have the ground pine, you can just jump on it. Yeah, hold B, that's it. I wonder who directed these cutscenes. I wonder who voice acted that. It was probably some intern. That's so, intern. if you want to get ballsy, you can spray the goop off his face and just try and deport him immediately. If you're fast with it, I've done it before. You might need to get rid of his fun arms, but I've been able to do it once where um, you just get him immediately. What? He's just showing off his neat parkour skills, dude. dude. Stop being a big dope. So I grab that arm without it being flattened. Yeah. <laughs> you were right, like in front of the one that was flattened too, which is the weird part. And if you haven't noticed, every time you spray him in the face, he attacks you. Yeah. How brutal is this, too? <laughs> Like, as a kid, you don't really think about it. You're ripping somebody's arms off. Come on. Well, I'm not. <laughs> and then they, like, they do it like that. Yeah. It's so weird. It's authentic, but it's very, uh... Strange, yeah. I wish we could make him into Calamari. I love Calamari. I went to school with a kid named Calamari. Oh, yeah? It was, it was all right. It's always been one of my big pet peeves in Star Wars of the Mon Calamari. Like, why are they called that? So what you're doing there is you're jumping and then pressing B immediately, which had you do the dive. Right. And also, I think, moving... I think really pressing any direction and pressing B has you do the dive. This is also like totally the power of the GameCube. Like you, you probably wouldn't be able to get these kinds of physics on uh, PS2. Well, I was gonna say N64. Break! Pretty much my reaction to this too. Was it Cooper Blooper? Wasn't he in the uh, tennis game? I think so. Yeah, he was. Um, he was one of the. It was like a like a ball feeder thing. Like you just kept shooting it back and forth. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's cool because he uses all his arms in all the different directions. Yahoo! 
Just activate that cutscene. Get it over with. It's like right next to you too. Shoo! That's a nice little detail too that I don't think I ever really paid attention to. Oh, I'm gonna sneak up on him. <laughs> Where he takes his hat off and pushes his hair back a little yeah. bit. Yeah. The element of surprise is gone. He now knows you're there. They don't seem to care. They're able to care though. Let's show them all that matter. And maybe I'll try it again. I don't think you can pick up the uh, pineapples or durians or whatever. Oh, you bought him. Yeah, it didn't do anything. It sure didn't. Oh, you. I can't wait for you to do the pachinko level. Pachinko. Pachinko. My favorite thing. My favorite things. Can you skip it? I wish I could skip that face. <laughs> it's terrifying. No, it's pretty bad, yeah. It's like um, that episode of the Halloween episode of SpongeBob where he uh, shaves everything down to his brain. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I think that might have been a repressed memory now because now I'm thinking about it. That's pretty horrifying. And, yeah, that was. His eyes weird. are hanging out and stuff. Yeah, Look. and there was like a reveal to it too. Like they pulled the sheet off of him. Yeah. Yeah, that was scary. Knee melon secret, I know, is in my butt. Nice. <laughs> that is twice now that that happened. See what Toad's words got to say. Sometimes I pee when I laugh. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh when I pee. Oh, well, that's useful. He just said, oh my god. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Almost good parkour, I guess. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that water basically makes you uh, useless. What do you mean? The whole game is water. I just, no, like going in the water, you just become like marred. When I was a kid, there was no water. Now, not everything's water. <laughs> Where are you going? Back to the. Nope. Oh, wrong one. Wow. <laughs> now, please, sir, uh, buy a banana. Ew. That yeah, probably is what she sounds like, but it doesn't mean I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of that! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna be my new thing, is I'm now gonna just try to, like, make that as weird looking as possible yeah. when I jump into the new world. That's so good. Oh, this one's fun. Oh, because I gotta ride the blooper into the thing. Behind you. Me? No, I think this is the red coin one. Yeah, I think you have to talk to that guy first. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, you just drive into the thing. I think this one's the fastest. I think green is maybe it controls. slow. It controls what? Oh, it's not a matter of um, which one's... It's not like one handles better, one's it's all just speed, right? Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, but I I think it still works control into it. <laughs> like, I think, you know, the faster you go, right. the less control you have. Hour one? <laughs> no, this isn't this isn't Champion's Road. This is fine. The Sandberg. See, I think I what I don't understand about these levels is that there's two of them and then they just disappear. Yeah. Like it's a lot of fun. This, I would is always... another, this is another one of those things that made a DLC of this. I would absolutely just buy this. Yeah. And they like it's so fun. I would always go back to these when I was a kid. Oh come on! I can't hit anything. <laughs> oh no. That's four. Crikey. What do you mean? You went. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, I thought you meant you died four times. No. Someone say two continues. What is up with this literal, guy? Literal horseshit. Just go activate that stupid cutscene. Oh. He wasn't too happy about it. He said, "Like, whoa." What was the other guy? What? That was the fighting guy. What fighting guy? The two. The two uh, 
Jagaloons fighting on the side there. Oh, were they fighting? Yeah. I didn't know that. Figured they were just talking. No, they were fighting. Are those two fighting? Not yet. All Piantas, when, when talking to each other, eventually devolve into fighting. Take Pinky out. Pinky slow. Hey guys, it's me, Pinky up. Sorry, that wasn't great. Here we go. It's me, Steve-O. I watched my blooper surfing. As I had crack. Probably. <laughs> what else would you try to ride an octopus? Unless <laughs> upon drugs. I remember in my psych class the first year, for whatever reason they showed a film about Steve-O in that class. I was like, what? There's right. like the rise and fall of Steve-O. Jeez. <laughs> has nothing it's to do really with more, psychology. It's really more of a fall and rise. Because he's better now than he used to be. Um, yeah. His voice sure isn't, though. He was on the Joe Rogan podcast and I had to stop listening because his voice is just... It's something else. I do. <laughs> Try and ride into it. Uh -huh. hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, this one has a um, a secondary shine sprite to it if you beat your time. Yeah, I think so. Kind of like the princess's secret slide. <laughs> he gonna do one. He gonna find you. Activate that cutscene and buy a shine sprite. What? Remember that there was a cheat code in uh, Yoshi's story that if you press all the buttons, you just killed yourself? Uh, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> so I know that like it was in my mind already, and it shouldn't have mattered that I said it, but since I said out loud that that reminds me of brain SpongeBob, it's made it even more disturbing for me. Yeah.